Two men accused of killing a police reservist a week ago appeared in the Nassau Street Magistrates Court this afternoon for formal charges. Fern Carey has more on the arraignment and why one of the accused has accused police of being inhumane. A few days ago, a police officer was gunned down at a local laundromat. And now police are holding the two men they believe committed that brutal crime responsible. Bare feet and shackled at the ankles, 28-year-old Andrew Gibson, wearing the red shorts, and his co-accused, 22-year-old Clemson Edgecombe, arrived at court under heavy police escort. They are accused of gunning down 56-year-old police reservist Dennis Clark following an alleged attempt to snatch Clark's $1,000 gold chain. Clark later died in hospital. Before entering the court, Gibson appeared to be suffering from a leg injury and had to be dragged inside the court by police officers. Minutes before the arraignment, Gibson complained that the steel from the cuffs were cutting into his leg and asked for his shoes and pants. He also said it was difficult for him to stand and Chief Magistrate Roger Gomez permitted him to sit. The court then formally charged Gibson and Edgecombe with intentionally and unlawfully causing the death of police reservist Clark on Thursday, May 31st. They are also accused of robbing him of his $1,000 gold chain at gunpoint. The duo was not required to enter a plea and were remanded to prison. A voluntary bill of indictment, which means the case will be fast-tracked to the Supreme Court will be filed. Edgecombe was also charged separately with robbing another man of a $400 gold chain, a gold pendant, and $20 cash on Thursday, May 17th. Following the arraignment, Edgecombe's attorney, Tonic Lewis, complained that he was brutalized twice in police custody and forced to sign a record of interview. She also indicated that the police did not contact her, even though they had a number. Gibson's attorney, Stanley Roll, also echoed the same claims, adding that it was inhumane for police to bring him to court without shoes. He also asked for Gibson to see a doctor. The court agreed and ordered that both men be allowed to see a doctor immediately. The case has been adjourned to August 22nd. Fern Carey, ZNS News.